revolt against who and why. Well, I think I have explained that, and therefore I'll get right to the point. This is by Doxy PhD Company, and I prefer to say upward and forward, upward and forward. Well, what can I present? I try to present maybe the toughest question, challenge, and give forth my uh, opinion. Now, the background, and I think this is important, the background to this is that after World War II, Russia could obtain some type of socialism worldwide if it would have embraced the Lao people freedom religion. But no, they went back to shutting down churches and persecuting and genocide and gulags. China took and killed many that were religious because they were religious. Political science is political science. It's called dirty politics, I think, by the majority of people. But it's political science. Theology is theology. For a person to say, I'm not an animal. I'm a human being. When I, I think I want to obtain salvation. And for a politician to say they can't do anything except be a cog in our system. Hmm? They work as a cog and die and that's it. Not like an animal. You do something, you die and that's it. Well, some countries are quite religious like Poland and some countries in Asia are quite religious. They have their religion and all countries have uh, those who profess a type of life a after this life on earth, salvation so forth. So, Russia then took and broke up, collapsed. Well, they took and became a little more modern. But then they tried to copy the U.S. Critical. You cannot be like the U.S. The U.S. is a capitalist it's a type of um, imperial colonialism. They go out and try everybody else is sort of under their uh, superior uh, authority and, and how their system is. Their system works on really kind of survival and there is a lot of crimes and corruption. Oh, corruption. You see, this is the entire system for a country to say we especially represent people and we're going to have this copy go by uh, corruption of uh, like the U.S., <laughs> they can't do that. You just can't. It's not. It hasn't been in their history and so forth. The U.S. is now a King George because he said, "Oh, we're connected. Uh, we're royalty, so we should govern here." 
and he's, she's calling queer to not call him a queen, queen hoover, hypocrisy. That's what it is. And this system has so corroded, it's corrupt. They have, we have an illegal president. I speak only 21 or older in the U.S. We have an illegal government. So the deal is made to set that up, to have control. You understand? So 52%, I think, of the voters, as they poll them, as they come out and vote, yeah, but the state, like, Figure well, and they hope for the lesser of two evils, and they don't trust the government. Now, if that fifty-two percent is just the voters, and if you had fifty, about the fifty percent who don't even vote, you have them. What the real picture is about seventy-five percent of the American people don't trust the government. They used to say, "Throw the bums out." Now, by assassinations uh, and cover-ups, they have control and they run unlimited. And they say, well, this is us. We have do what we want to. What can you do about it? Especially against I and others like me that say we have to do it right. They kill them or they ruin them. You look up whistleblowers against the U.S. government particularly against the FBI and the shadow government. They don't have shadow government anymore. They just operate out in the open. They say, yeah, we hit you, hit us back. <laughs> Look at that power of money we have compared to just you or those like you. And we want you to do that so we fight in the street like it's a gutter fight instead of upward and forward. You see, upward and forward. Well, Nixon, not by presidential decree, he knew them and said Hoover was a CS. So at the high level, they don't want you to use uh, vulgarity and get show too much anger so, you know, and so forth. Uh, he said, as far as them taking the government like they do by assassinations, murders, cover-ups, money, frame-ups, blackmail, he said the people have a right to take up arms and get their government back. So we have to get our government back. Lincoln was president when he said that. We have to get our government back, but you can't do it by arms because they have two years of politicians. The only thing you can do is get a permit, certain day, certain time, certain place, certain way, to protest. Oh, what? I pro what do they care? They had to get the power and so on. Well, you can raise your voice. And the Internet goes out at over the U.S. And I saw where he said we should have an internet, let's support an internet candidate. That'd be better than the ones they're offering. That you have to hopefully pick the lesser of the two evils. This is what I, you know, there's expose editor, and this is the facts. They report, so you're reporting the facts, and these are the facts. I say this because this is the background to what I'm going to present. And uh, I then say, well, they, because I've survived last December, they hit me with worse than Guantanamo Bay in a couple of times. But I survived, and I even now am not in a wheelchair. I can at least get around. I have to pace myself and be careful. Uh, well, what they cleverly done is to say that 
they are looking for the God particle. Now by saying and specifying it as the God particle, they force the atheists, especially those you know that are uh, anti-religious, uh, hmm? uh, as they look at our work and look for a particle, the particle is specified as the God particle. Understand? I said this is incorrect. You don't want to mix religion belief with science. You don't want the scientists to say you that by force you can't believe that there's a God. Uh, you can't, but this is the way they've been doing it at least one of the last 10 years. And it's been years since I really had science as my main interest and challenge. So, getting right to the point, I said that this, exp exp when they said about Einstein, he had proof of general relativity, but it looked like Benz as it approaches a mass, a, a planet. I says, what that proves is that light must have mass because it is being attracted by gravity. That's what it proved, not general relativity based on light being the ultimate universal velocity, which of course is just limited and Einstein's way of getting the work he wanted and so forth. Einstein was the world's greatest plagiarist, proven by Alento de Preto, put forward E equals MB squared, E equals MC squared, etc. Now, so I look at it, if you find this particle, and you give it a name, or who's supposed to find it after years and so forth. I, in my one on one showdown with Einstein, explained to him my uh, finite particle theory, in which you start by modernizing, that's the polite way I put it, capital X squared equals capital X minus VT over the square root of 1 minus v squared over capital C squared, where capital C is equal to or greater than the velocity of light. He says, are you sure? I said, I'm sure, I'm sure. And he says, well, like one. And I said, well, I think by 1975 it'll go public that they have been able to either find particles super luminous or they can accelerate particles and thus breaking the light barrier. And we progressed that way. And then he agreed that we could work towards the unified field theory, but Hoover didn't like him. And anybody who tried to get Hoover out or didn't do what Hoover wanted, what happened? Einstein dropped dead. He told me of a heart attack the night before we were supposed to start working together. What a coincidence. No. I said, all right, so you find this particle, and you call it the God particle. All those in the world have to call it the God particle. You're forcing those who don't believe in God, scientists, to say it's a God particle. Now, in my finite particle theory, as I explained to Einstein, the particle goes into less and less mass, but Compton proved that there was momentum in the Compton effect you know, momentum in order to have rho equals mvr you make our unity your m prime rho prime equals m prime v prime r 
equals Einstein's uh, rho equals mvr. He said r to unity. Then if my m prime is going towards a finer and finer particle, my velocity, if it's proven in the laboratory that they're equal, my velocity must be increasing. So Compton is rho equals mv. They have to have mass to have momentum. And that was my decision. I've stood by it all the while. They still say, I'm looking at an article now about the God particle. The nickname of a solar type of particle, etc. Et and uh, they say, well, they're looking for it. I suppose you find this particle, and you call it a God particle. Then you find something finer. And then in another 20, 25 years, you find something even finer, with maybe greater velocity. What are you going to call it then? The little God particle, because it's less and the little, little God particle now, because it's less than the little God particle, you see. I says, no, why don't you give it the name I gave originally towards an unknown quantity of mass, but it's a quantity of mass. So you call it a quam vel, a quantity of mass at a certain velocity. And as the mass gets less and the velocity is greater, it's still like quam vel. And a good way might be to say quam vel 100. And then in 10 years, you say, well, we're down to a quam vel. That, that one at 100, the other one is at 90% of it. So you have quam vel 90. And then as it gets, you understand? That's, in my opinion, uh, the, what you're actually working with. But they don't want me to be known as the man who put forward Xerox, electrification of electromagnetic radiation, the laser beam. My original work, absolutely, but it was proven. String theory, uh, Stephen Hawking, uh, obvious. It was, he went by my office, waited. When I got it done, they went by my office, published the book first, so forth became famous and rich is all phony and now there are you can go and research and get videos those who do the actual work and say it's phony it's set up in fact they have an american as his voice these are the true facts so about this what they call a god particle I refuse to call it the God particle. I say it's a quam vel. It's a quam vel a hundred. And then in ten years, when they find something, maybe a finer mass, it'll be, um, say, like ninety percent of that mass. It'll be a quam quam vel ninety, quam vel seventy, quam vel fifty. You see not God particle, and I'm a preacher. But you don't mix religion with science to sneak it in. Say, well, that's what they do. Look, they take and pay to do things to keep me that are absolutely the opposite of what they should do. Absolutely the opposite. And especially one country in Asia pay those that actually injured my son so mean. They actually pay them in basketball from my hometown and they say, see how smart we are here, the Hoovers? We get them to go against what you're trying, what, what you do and pay to help them. We get them to go against you and pay for it. 
Now, say, well, what connections do I have? Well, I would chit chat, especially as 007 and even 009. And I say, well, the case is closed as far as the following faggot CS's Hoover's. And as far as anything else, any conversation is closed and has been completed. I have to protect my family and for my help and try to get some of the vast wealth they owe me to buy a, a property and build or buy a little church on a corner and be the preacher that is my main interest and challenge and that's what I want to do so I say upward and forward upward and forward and that's my honest opinion all those who agree and especially help of course I say thank you